Hey guys, welcome back and hello to you new people. I've got a different sort of video for you today. This is a handbag decluttering video. I have so many handbags that I never use and I'm going to donate the ones that I am going to no longer be keeping because they're just taking up space in my closet and getting no use. So obviously I'm gonna start with the Gunas handbags and I'm keeping these. In this video, I'm basically gonna go, sh go through and show you the bags and what tell you whether or not I'm keeping them or donating them. Um, I'm, my friend asked if I would donate them to her ferret rescue that, that she donates to and I told her, sure, I normally donate to the Florida Poodle Rescue, but this time it's going to go towards ferrets. So this is my Gunas Madison bag, it's a warm purple, I love it. I showed you this bag in my animal friendly, eco friendly handbags video. I will put a link to that video so you can check it out. This is an awesome bag, if you love purple, it's a great shape, it's a great size, I think it's just amazing it goes with so many things so I love this bag and I'm keeping it this is my Gunas Rockstar I love this bag I'm keeping this one as well I rarely ever will carry black bags because I need a pop of color but because this has the unique golden green trim that's sort of a duochrome I'm keeping it um, it's a great bag it's got a great shape I love the color I just uh, love this bag so much and so far this bag has been very comfortable for me to carry and it holds things that I need, like everything that I need. So I'm pretty happy with the size of it. And yeah, I just think it looks great. So I love it. I did a review of this bag. I'll put a link to that video as well so you can check this out more in depth if you're interested. I have these two teeny tiny little bags that I bought on Hot Look however many years ago. And I thought, oh, it would be good to have, you know, different color clutches. I don't ever carry them. You know, I don't even really know what to do with them because they're so, so small. I might be able to use one as like a wallet or a coin purse. So, I don't even know. Like they're really, really tiny. They're cute. They're like, this is iridescent gold, this is iridescent white. Um, they're probably better off going to somebody else who will use them because I'm just not going to use them but because they've been sitting in my closet for years and I haven't really used them, but they're really cute. Next up, this is a sack like backpack purse. The brand, the sack I was obsessed with for a while. I did carry this single black bag for years. I would basically take it, I would knot this up, and then slide it over my shoulder. Knot it up like this. I would carry it for years. I stopped carrying it because I wear so much black and it's a black bag that I just didn't feel like it was um, adding an accent or a pop of color or even really cute. Um, I've had this for so long that I have like these little Mac buttons on it still. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to donate this because I never carry it and it's still in good shape. And it's kind of funny because I'm sure I've had this bag for at least 10 years, maybe closer to 15 years. This is another sack bag that I ha have that I carried for a while. And I love the colors because it has purple and red and like this raspberry pink. And it's, um, I like the shape. I like that it's comfortable to wear on my shoulder. Unfortunately, it's just too small for me now. I can't fit my Kindle in this bag. I can barely fit like my wallet and a little bit of makeup. So even though I like the colors and I like the fact that it has silver hardware and it has purple, um, I'm gonna donate it. And this is another sack bag. This one is obviously teal and green. It felt very summery to me and I can hold more in it, but I don't like the shape of it. It is comfortable to wear on my shoulder, which, I mean, that's that's often what I'm looking for in a bag is I need to have it be comfortable for me to throw over my shoulder and go about, you know, shopping or whatever I'm doing. So, it is, I just, I don't know. It doesn't appeal to me, so I'm gonna donate it. So, this is a Steve Madden satchel, black satchel that I bought. Um, thinking that I would love it as much as I love my purple Steve Madden bag that died. And the truth of the matter is I don't carry it because it's, it's just plain black. It's just too plain for me. And it never really felt broke in. It just feels really like tight. It, I, I do like the design with the straps. It's got these really cool, unique straps. But I carried it a couple times and just didn't feel like I liked how it looked. Although I do, I do really love this strap detail even though it's, it's gold and not silver very unique looking but yeah um, because I don't carry it I'm gonna I'm gonna donate it so, so that somebody else can get use out of it this is a Kathy Von Zeeland bag that my grandmother got me it's a great purple but the bag really is not very structured it's really really slouchy and 
Um, it does have silver hardware. It has like this shoulder strap, but it's like kind of too long and you can't adjust it, which ultimately I think that's why I stopped carrying it. Um, I also am not really crazy about this pocket right here because it's a pain to get in and out of. Although it does have a zipper pocket on the back so I can slide my phone in it. But ultimately, yeah, I just, I don't really carry it. So I'm gonna donate it. This is a fossil handbag. It's green. Like they said it was teal. Um, it was a gift. Uh, it's a good size for my shoulder, but I never carry it. Um, it's probably about nine or 10 years old and it still looks brand new. I just, I never carry it. It doesn't hold enough stuff for me. This is a Franco Sarto crossbody. And I carried this for a while and then eventually just got bored with it because I felt like it was too dull. There, I, I wear a lot of black so I like to have pops of color with my handbags. This just doesn't pop for me so I'm gonna donate it. This is my Hidaki clutch. I bought this for a wedding. Um, because of the weird way it opens and closes, I will never carry it again. So I'm gonna donate it. This is a fox purse. I bought it because it had this really cute like embossed fox. I think it's for fox racing. Um, I used to carry it, it's a crossbody, or it's meant to be a crossbody, but I usually carry crossbodies on my shoulder. And I just don't carry it, so I'm gonna donate it. This is a Lily Bloom bag that my grandmother bought me. She thought I would like it because of the bright colors. And while I do like the bright colors, and it is eco-friendly, because I believe it's made from recycled bottles, I just never carry it. Um, the shape is just really weird and awkward for me. It's a backpack purse, but I just, I can't wear it on my shoulder too, and I just, I don't care it because of the shape. This is a Mark by Mark Jacobs bag. It's real leather. I bought it because I liked the shape of it, and I thought that, um, I thought that I would carry it. Uh, I think I had credit to shop or somewhere, and so I was like, oh, I should use my credit and buy this. And it turns out that I just don't ever carry it. Um, it feels really heavy with nothing in it. And I just kind of find the color boring. I, I don't know, it looks like something like my grandmother would carry, so I'm gonna donate it. This is a Sherpani bag I bought. It's environmentally friendly. I thought I really liked the shape of it and I liked the color. I like this extra little like handle here so it slides over my shoulder. But there's just something about it. Even, and it's even like a nice bright purple. I think it's just that it's so, I don't know. I thought I would love it and I turned out, it turns out that I don't love it so I don't carry it and I don't use it so I'm gonna donate it even though I thought this would be one of those bags that I would love. It's got a ton of extra pockets. I just, I don't think it looks very nice. Maybe if I got rid of this it would look better. But I, I don't like the, the little flowery design right there or anything. I just don't think it looks like a nice handbag. This is a Kalo Chic bag. Um, it's a laptop handbag hybrid type thing. I don't carry it and I'm gonna donate it just because I basically, if I wanna carry my backpack or if I wanna carry my laptop anywhere, I have a backpack that I use for that. So I guess I bought this thinking I would use it for travel, for business or whatever and I just never use it. So I'm gonna donate it. This is an example of fast fashion. Ugh, terrible. I bought this for spring because it has this little fox on it and it was mint green. I carried it for I don't know, maybe two months and then never went back to it. So it's gonna get donated. So this is a Betsy Johnson laptop bag that I bought because I thought I would love it. And I do love like the strap detail, but if I put anything in this bag, these straps dig into my shoulders and it's painful. So I can't carry my laptop or anything really in it. So I'm gonna donate it. This is a Franco Sarto bag that I bought for a trip. I carried it for that trip and then never again. So I'm gonna donate it. This is actually a really cute little purple purse. It's like a little purple clutch or crossbody. Um, it's just really, really tiny. So I just, I don't carry it. I think I tried carrying it for a while and I just couldn't hold enough of the stuff that I need. So I'm gonna donate it. This is a little purse I bought for some formal event. It's actually kind of neat because of the ring handles and it has this little button or this little snap so that it'll snap uh, open and shut. It says the brand's Vanessa. It holds a surprising amount. Like I can fit my phone in here and my wallet and maybe one or two things. So I'm on the fence with whether or not I should keep it. I think I'm not gonna keep it though because I haven't reached for it to carry it in a couple years. So I'm gonna donate it. 
So this is a Scarleton bucket bag in gray. I carried this for a while and then stopped. Um, I really do like the design. It's animal friendly because it's, it's fake leather. But I decided I don't really like carrying um, a gray bag. So I just, I don't, it, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it looks okay when I'm wearing black, but it doesn't really do a lot for me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. So this is a Gunmetal 9 West bag, and I love this bag and carried it for a long time, and I'm trying to remember why I stopped. It's pretty large, it's got a lot of room on the inside, it's got this like little coin purse that's attached, it's got um, cute like animal print interior, like two, like it has a section on each side and like a zip up section to hold stuff, so it's a good tote bag. I'm trying to remember why I stopped. Oh, here's why I stopped carrying it, because if I put too much in it, the straps are so narrow that they dig in my shoulders and it's not comfortable. So I stopped carrying it because it's not really good for me. Although I really, really like the, I do like the shiny. It's it's, it's black and, or it's a gunmetal color. I like the color a lot. Ugh. I haven't worn it, so I'm gonna donate it. This is a tiny little sack purse from when I was obsessed with the sack. Um, it's got, Cute little rainbow colors, but it's really small. I never carry it, so I'm gonna donate it. Okay, so this is a really cute little bag. It says it's by Kate Landry. I bought this for, I think, my friend's wedding, and it's adorable. I really love the rhinestone detailing and like the little black sparkly stuff, but it's so small now, I can never hope to fit my cell phone in it. If I can't at least fit my cell phone in it, I can't carry it. So it's been sitting in my closet doing nothing. It's really, really cute though but I'm gonna donate it. So this is my Urban Junket bag. Um, you probably saw this in my animal friendly, eco-friendly vegan handbag video. And I'm torn on this. I'm gonna keep it for a little while longer, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna keep it forever because I've only used, I, I used it for I think almost two months and then stopped using it when I bought the Gunas bag. So I'm gonna hold on to it for now. This is my dark teal blue Gigi Rose bag. I like it cause it's all fancy with um, the design and it's fabric. I've carried it a couple times, so I'm gonna keep it. This is a Hello Kitty diaper bag that I used as a purse um, for a while. It has a side pocket here, a side pocket here, which are great for like water bottles or what have you. Um, it has a snap so that it will snap closed. It's got a pocket right here I could stick my cell phone in. It's very comfortable to just kind of throw on my shoulder and go. The fabric is like sort of like a purple and black plaid. It has this awesome like Hello Kitty with a little skull bow. It has studded pyramid details. I used to carry this bag every day for, I don't know, a couple years, two or three years. I haven't carried it recently. So I'm gonna hold on to it for now because it's black and purple and Hello Kitty and studded. And I love all things like studded, spiked, Swarovski. Those are my things. This is a purse that was made by Storms and Stars on Instagram and it's a Maleficent hand, like a little Maleficent clutch. It's really cute. The lining is like this gray and black po polka dot that matches the handle. Um, I've carried it a couple times. I'm gonna keep it because I bought it and it's a Maleficent bag and it's, I think it's cute. This is another uh, Scarleton bag. It's a dark burgundy bucket bag. And I think I'm going to keep it because I don't have another burgundy bag. And I do like the shape and it's comfortable. And I wore it in the fall before, so I probably will wear it in the fall again. It's like a, I think it's like a nice deep burgundy maroonish kind of color. This is my Tokidoki Hello Kitty bag. Dave bought this for me for Christmas one year. I absolutely love it. It's got Hello Kitty on a unicorn, and it's black and pink and just, I know, I know it's super bright and girly, but I love Tokidoki, so I'm keeping this bag. I wear it on and off, even though I do not like the chain or the, I don't like the strap that comes with it. I keep it anyways, because I do wear it. And this is my cute little Tokidoki clutch. I think I got this at the same time. But it's like black and white. Very simple, but still the print is very, it's very large and people always ask about it when they see it. So I know it's cute. So this is my Mark by Mark Jacobs. It's a crossbody that I usually wear on my shoulder. Um, I think the color is called like iridescent pink scale or whatever, but it was the first nice purse that I bought myself. And yes, it's a fabric purse, but I really like it. It's one of my favorite bags to wear, especially in the spring or summer because it's bright. It looks great with black. And 
it holds all of my stuff. It's not a structured design with the bag. It's really soft. Inside the print is black and white and Marc Jacobs. It's pretty easy to find anything I stick in here. Um, over the years, like this little, little handle thing, knot thing on the side has come undone. So I really need to re-sew it. I have it like safety pinned. But other than that, it's held up pretty well. So I'm keeping this. This is my other Mark, my Mark by Mark Jacobs crossbody. It's a cobalt blue and teal black bag. I absolutely love it. This one's more structured than the last bag that I showed you, and it has like this cool zipper detail thing on the bottom that goes around. And it has a nice wide strap, so it's comfortable. This is my holographic bat purse that I bought on Etsy. I think it's really cute, and I've carried it a couple times, and I'm keeping it. This is a Betsy Johnson bag that my cousin gave me, and I like it because it's dark gray with a bright pop, with a bright teal blue, and it is small. I can just barely fit like my wallet and my Kindle in there, but it will slide over my shoulder. So it's a bag that I like. I haven't really carried it in a while, but I'm keeping it for sentimental reasons. This is my Betsy Johnson clutch. I absolutely love this clutch. Um, it's really good for like going out with the girls or sort of a more casual night. I don't feel like it's fancy enough for like a, a dress or anything, but I do like it a, a lot. And I was able to fit one of my Kindles in here. I'm not sure if I can fit my current one, but I'm keeping this because I love this little bag. This is a Jessica McClintock bag that I bought for, I think Ray's cousin's wedding. So I'm keeping it because it's actually a large bag for um, a wedding since I can fit my, my wallet, my camera, my phone and everything in here. I can fit makeup in here so I'm keeping this. This is my Steve Madden crossbody with studs. I love this. It's an awesome purple purse. I love everything studded so I'm keeping this bag for sure. <laughs> I believe my mother-in-law gave me this purse. It's, I think it was from Paris. It's like this black sapphire snakeskin type print. I don't think it's actual real snakeskin but I don't know what it is but I'm keeping it for sentimental reasons. This is an Aldi bag of mine. It's one of the few black bags that I, I've carried a lot. It has like this rose gold design under, like underneath. I don't know if you can see it with like the laser cut design on top. Um, I like it a lot. It doesn't have a comfortable strap and it's really one of those bags that only goes up to here. I can't fit it over my shoulder, but I like the design and I feel like it's really unique, which is why I've kept it over the years. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed seeing my closet decluttering. I'm gonna be donating all of those bags and these are the ones I'm gonna keep. I think I'm donating, more, I'm definitely donating more than I'm keeping, so I feel like that's a step in the right direction since I've cut down my bags a lot and I probably should pare it down again, but this is what I'm comfortable with for now. Anyway, let me know if you have any tips for decluttering, like if you've decluttered, if you've ever decluttered handbags before, what you think of this. Tell me in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't already, be sure you subscribe to my channel. I make new videos weekly. Thanks so much for watching.